Welcome to the MTI Show. I'm Mike the Investor, and according to sources, Justin Sun and the Tron Dow Reserve is coming together to spend up to $5 billion in acquisitions. And this is regarding crypto firms and crypto companies who have been struggling this year. So let's briefly dive into the details. Now, as we can see here from the headline, you can find this either from Crypto News Flash or you can find it on the block dot com as well now tron founder ready to spend up to five billion on acquisitions as crypto firms struggle now justin sun hasn't actually made a specific tweet on this so i'm not sure if this is like a huge big rumor but the block and crypto news flash are pretty credible and this hasn't been denied either so i'm not sure if this is a big rumor or is this legitimate truth to this now i do think there's some truth to this but the question is will this actually happen right and so so let's go ahead and look at some of the highlighted parts. It says Tron blockchain ecosystem founder Justin Sun, as we all know, is ready to get involved as he offers up to five billion for acquisitions. Sun disclosed to reporters that several companies have reached out to him after a recent tweet that he is ready to serve. Now, it goes on to say that FTX has already embarked on its mission with the provision of credit facilities to the companies, including Voyager, which I've talked about, uh, put out three videos on the current situation of Voyager Digital. They also helped out BlockFi. And then you have Binance, who also disclosed that several crypto funds have reached out to them for help as a result of their largest cash reserve in the industry. So definitely companies are hoping to get bailed out by Binance because they definitely have the cash. Now in a recent statement, Justin Sun admitted that the number of firms seeking help from him can be compared to 50 to 100 cited by Binance. Now they also go on to say that it's important to note that the effort is underway as Tron has started to engage with an investment bank for advice on potential deals. So we'll see what happens. Now, the bank name was withheld due to an NDA non-disclosure agreement. And according to Justin Sun, their focus would be mainly on both healthy and distressed firms. However, there will be a due diligence process before concluding any deal. Now, the last part here says when asked whether the five billion is his money or Tron's money, he says that this is a mixture of both. It's the Dow's Tron Dow Reserve, who currently has about $2.3 billion attached under that. And I'm going to briefly show you that here in a second. And then speaking about the current market situation, he explained that the worst is already in the past. Now, I'm not sure if I 100% agree with that because as I mentioned in previous videos, I don't think we've honestly bottomed out yet, even though we've seen a little bit of pump. I don't know if we've honestly bottomed out. However, though, who really knows now as we look at the tron dow reserve website you can see right here on the top left this is what they have uh in the reserve 2.2 billion and this is what they have back in usdd 723 million as we move down you can see here is the total collateral 2.2 billion it's 313 percent over collateralized and here's the current supply and market cap for usdd now something as well a lot of people gave a lot of hate on this if you look right here this baby is pretty much almost fully repegged now i'm gonna save this probably for another video uh once it fully gets repegged but just wanted to show you because it did drop all the way down to 92 cents and it's slowly been moving back up so definitely a good thing for you know people that's in the tron ecosystem but i just wanted to give you all a quick update on justin sun and the tron dow reserve coming together to potentially you know spend five billion on crypto company acquisitions and the question is what would this do you know for the tron ecosystem if this happens right and i think the first question for that would be what company would they acquire right and what would be their angle acquiring that company is it just to help kind of expand the overall tron ecosystem in certain ways and so i wonder if they do acquire any type of crypto firm or crypto company how will it impact everything else? So if you have an idea on that, let me know down in the comment section and I will see you on the next one.